Welcome back to Crux Stationalis. Today we explore the Roman Station Church of the Basilica di San Clemente al Laterano. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like this video. The Church of San Clemente is dedicated to Pope Clement I. It sits between St. John Lateran and the Colosseum. Archaeologically speaking, the structure is a three-tiered complex of buildings. The present basilica, built just before the year 1100, during the height of the Middle Ages, sits atop this 4th century basilica that had been converted out of the home of a Roman nobleman, part of which had, in the 1st century, briefly served as an early church and the basement of which had, in the second century, briefly served as a Mithraeum, which was a gathering place for those who adhered to the cult of Mithras, an exclusive cult of Roman soldiers. The home of the Roman nobleman, which was converted into this 4th century basilica, had been built on the foundations of Republican-era villa and warehouses that had been destroyed in the Great Fire of the year 64. We begin the litany and procession from the altar of this lower basilica, and we proceed up into the cloister which stands in front of the church and enter back in through the main doors to walk upon the laurel leaves laid out in honor of the martyrs, filling the church with their scent and reminding us of the glory of martyrdom. the basilica which is comprised of three naves divided by arcades on ancient marble and granite columns with cosmetesque inlaid paving. Most prominently, however, we encounter this apse mosaic, which comes from the 12th century along with this scola cantorum. With the installation of this mosaic in the 12th century, it had been nearly two centuries in the history of Roman churches since a mosaic had been installed. It incorporated a number of familiar motifs from early Christian mosaics, but combined them with distinctly medieval pictorial elements to create a new synthesis. Like the one at St. John Lateran, this apse mosaic centers on a cross that relates to a vision of paradise. But San Clemente's mosaic merges the iconography of paradise with images of the church in the contemporary world. Thus, its most prominent feature is a vast vine studded with figures of lords and stewards, doctors of the church and peasants engaged in their daily tasks. The vine is identified as the church by an inscription along the band just above the sheep. We have likened the Church of Christ to this vine. The law made it wither, but the cross made it bloom. In the body of Christ above this inscription rests some wood from the cross, a tooth of James and of Ignatius. The sheep represent the twelve apostles that face toward the Lamb of God, an image based on the book of Revelation. 
The cross itself is actually a complete crucifixion scene with Mary and St. John beside it and the hand of God the Father above, tendering a wreath of victory to Christ. The risen and regnant Christ is above the entire work in a medallion over the highest point of the arch. The vine grows out of the tree at the base of the cross from which flow the four rivers of Eden. The two stags drinking there allude to Psalm 42. As the heart pants after the fountains of water, so my soul pants after thee, O God. In the triumphal arch of the mosaic, we encounter representations of Bethlehem on the left and Jerusalem on the right. Both are represented as loci of historical events. In Bethlehem, we see an image of the boy Christ and of another boy running down a flight of stairs. In Jerusalem, a cross and a rooster remind viewers that this city was a scene of the crucifixion and of Peter's denial. We come to this Roman station church on the Monday of the second week of Lent. May be weary already from our toil of the Lenten pilgrimage, or maybe we have even put off the change of life that comes with this season of opportunity, this season of Lent. But we can look to the Lamb of God and we can join the scenes of daily life that speckle this mosaic scene and we can carry on pick up our cross and follow him. Thank you for joining us today at Crux Stationalis. I'll see you tomorrow.